cooks the beer, and we're going to be talking about the Nava reaction. I don't even know what to say pronounce it, but it's, a, it's an important reaction that we use in the kitchen all the time that you've seen a couple times on many cooks. And now I just want to discuss it. And don't worry, you'll see even more videos than a lot of time. Then a whole chunk of business came. But now, um, since I'm all kind of around the holidays, I'll be able to post more stuff. And even during, uh, not even like around the holidays, but I'll be posting more things. I just want to share this quick lesson with you. So, um, the Maliard reaction, that's how I'm pronouncing it for this video. And we're going to watch another video inside this video on how, to, how it's better explained so I can learn myself more as well. So, the Maliard reaction is a chemical reaction between amino acids and reducing sugar that gives brown food its distinct flavor, like seared steaks, fried dumplings, cookies, and other kinds of biscuits, bread, twist, marshmallows, and many, and also many foods undergo this reaction, as you see, especially in the kitchen. Um, the Maliard reaction is responsible for the colors, especially the brown coloring. Um, here are some examples of it. So we know here, um, give me a second. So, um, you can see here, sorry, there's brown here, and then there's like, you can tell the this part right here is all brown right there, so we can tell. So, um, now, let's watch the video. this. A lot of sins that a cook can commit in the kitchen, but perhaps one stands out above all others, boiling a perfectly nice hunk of meat. I'll take my steak seared, my chicken roasted, and my bacon fried to a crisp. But boiled? Boiling water never gets above 212 degrees. We're going to need more than that to trigger what's called the Maillard reaction. The chemical roller coaster that both browns meats and creates so many of the flavor compounds that we find so delicious. The reaction is named after the French chemist, Louis Camille Maillard, who in 1912 described how sugars and amino acids will combine to create aromatic compounds that also happen to pack a lot of flavor. Since then, other chemists have found that the Maillard reaction creates thousands of different flavor compounds. The specific compounds that you end up with depend on cooking time and temperature, as well as the kinds of sugars and amino acids that you add to the reaction. Thiopenes, for example, are sulfur-containing compounds that have a distinctly meaty quality, whereas oxazoles are oxygen-containing compounds that have a nutty or sweet taste. Some Maillard reaction products don't do much on their own, but enhance other flavors. Allopyridane, for example, makes meats taste meatier, sweets sweeter, and salts saltier. You may wonder, why have humans evolved to enjoy the particular compounds that result when meat meets heat? While we can't go back to ask early humans about their taste preferences, we do know that cooking not only kills potentially harmful microorganisms, it also makes foods easier to digest, allowing us to get more nutrition out of the meal. No wonder that the chemical combination of sugar, protein, and heat tastes so delicious. For Scientific American's Instant Egghead, I'm Michael Moyer. So guys, I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks so much for watching Mini Cooks, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Please subscribe and leave a like, as well as you can subscribe to the, whoever made this video. I want to thank um, Scientific American. I'm using their video, so thank you so much for putting this video on YouTube site, and now I'm using it, so thanks guys so much. See you in the next video.